Hello, it's Subzero Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you another Daisy Armor 3 Epoch tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install safe zones onto your Daisy server. So, the three tools we're going to need today are a PBO manager, Eliteness, which I'll link in the description, and Notepad. So, once you've gone onto the Epoch Mod forum and found the extended safe zones, uh, you'll be presented with a screen like so which has all the information on uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get your epoch mission which will be labeled epoch.altis and you're going to unpack that using your pbo manager and it will look like this this is a basic PBO um, straight from the server download this is what it'll be like when you actually start the server so first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to make a folder called scripts and make sure it's got a lowercase s and in that you've got to make another text file so go new text document and call it safe zones.sqf once you've made that right click and edit with notepad plus and make sure that it's blank and what you're going to do is you're going to copy from the file on Epoch Mod Forum what it says to paste into there, which will be this, as you can see. And then you go to File, Save As, All Types. So now we're done with that. Delete the one that's not got the little grey lines in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this into the Epoch Altis folder. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make a new script in here. So do new text document and name it init.sqf. Edit with Notepad++. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy the first bit of text from the website which is this execute scripts safe zone.sqf file save as all types save close this down and delete that one so that's got the actual script in there and that's actually executing it now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to edit the mission.sqm if we open this with notepad plus plus you can see that it's all encoded so this is where eliteness comes in so open up eliteness navigate to where we saved it so it is daisy tutorial for me and epoch altis mission.sqm double click that and as you can see now it's all readable what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and you can't just do control A you have to actually physically drag it all and copy now what we can do is on your desktop make a new text document name it mission dot sqm edit with notepad plus plus and paste everything in there file save as all types save once we've got this in our notepad plus plus we can then start editing it, editing it. so what we're going to do is in here we're going to have to do control F and find marker and what we're going to do is we're going to place these markers with the ones that are defined in the epoch tutorial uh, mod uh, script so go there copy that just copying them now and make sure that everything is copied and all of the curly brackets and so are there so once we've copied and pasted that we're going to click save uh, file save as all types mission to SQM. Oh, no, that didn't save. Save as mission.sqm all types, save over a 
replace yes and what we're going to do is we're going to get from from our desktop as you can see here um, we're going to replace this with that so that is everything that needs to be done to get safe zones working on your uh, on your server you might also have to change battle eye or infostar if you've got them running and i'll show you the website um, as you can see here if you're running battle eye you need to go to your scripts.txt and replace under allow damage you need to add this line of code and then go to line 58 or remove event handle and you need to add this line if you're using infostar which this script is designed to work with you need to make sure that all of these have been done so just look at there bef before um, once everything's installed just make sure that you've got these ticked in your infostar and where it says run sqf it will be your infostar underscore in it um, with the new update this works with 3.5.0 build 5 and it will probably work with the ones after it as well so that is everything from the tutorial uh, all you need to do now is delete that file click here PBO manager pack into PBO and then that is ready to be uploaded to your server so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video uh, there'll be more to come and I'll see you next time Hello.